Hello, hello, welcome back uh, to my channel. Namaste to all of you. I hope everybody is having a fantastic day. Today's uh, reading is, uh, you know, a little bit of information and a little bit of reading. It's a combination, okay? So um, I'm going to be talking about the full moon uh, at the end of the month on October 31st and also uh, Sharat Purnima, which is a very important part of the Hindu lunar calendar, which um, is on the 30th of October 2020. We will be looking at the energies and we will also uh, be doing a small reading about how this energy impacts us, making the most out of uh, this entire experience and the positive energies being given to us um, through the divine. All right, so let's start. So guys, um, Sharat Purnima is going to be celebrated on October 30th, 2020. It starts at about 5.45 p.m. Indian Standard Time and ends on October 31st, 8 o'clock, 18 minutes in the evening. And that is the exact time when everybody is going to be celebrating the full moon, um, which is going to be at its peak, the energies uh, of the full moon. Well, firstly, Sharad Purnima is a very important uh, day in the calendar of uh, Hindus. The reason being that on this particular day is the end of the rainy season, the monsoon season, and the day the crops are harvested. Uh, so this is a huge day of celebration and joy and um, also being grateful to uh, the divine for uh, you know bringing a good season of uh, healthy crops into our lives because that is the food we eat. So um, definitely a very, very joyous time in the lives of people. And um, this is the time that we celebrate by worshiping to, uh, you know, God Mahadev or Shiv, um, his consort, uh, queen uh, of ascetics, Mata Parvati. Um, we also worship Indra Dev, who is the king of heaven, the lord of gods, and also the king of rain and thunder, um, and uh, and also uh, goddess Lakshmi, uh, who is the goddess of wealth, love, prosperity, fortune, joy, beauty, fertility, and Maya. Those of you that follow my Instagram or YouTube, um, you must be aware that at the beginning of the month, we did celebrate a full moon. So yes, this month we've had two full moons. Uh, the beginning uh, one was the harvest moon. And this time at the end of the month on the 31st of October, uh, on the day of Halloween, we will be witnessing a hunter's moon or what we also know as the blue moon. Um, interesting fact, uh, this is the first time since I believe World War II uh, that we will be, uh, the entire world actually will be experiencing uh, and witnessing this full moon at the same time. Usually that doesn't happen. Some countries witness it and others don't, but this time everybody is going to be witnessing the energies of the full moon. Um, also, uh, this hunter's moon, uh, like I said, is an extra uh, full moon this year. So usually, uh, every year we have about 12 full moons, but this year with the addition of this particular full moon, we have a total of 13 full moons that we are going to be witnessing, which is lucky 13. I really love the vibration of number 13. Um, so I, like I've said before, Full moon energies are very, very powerful, very strong, 
um, you know, those of you that would like to worship, uh, you know, God Moon, uh, the mantra for that is Om So So Mai Namaha. Om So So Mai Namaha, right? And um, the rays of uh, you know moon, uh, full moon. It are going to be a very very powerful and they have very strong healing properties uh, on this day so if you want to put out food or water or crystals if that is something that you work with uh, you know anything that requires um, you know positivity and you know meditation uh, during these particular hours uh, work wonderfully because the energy the healing energy of the moon is the strongest during this time and you can uh, benefit a lot spiritually uh, you know with your health if you have health issues um, and and emotionally and mentally uh, to balance yourselves out and also you know worshiping to the different gods and goddesses um, that you know are part of the whole process of Sharad Purnima celebration um, that too uh, would bring a lot of happiness and joy uh, and blessings into all of our lives. So like I've previously mentioned, full moon energies are extremely powerful. This is the time the moon's power is at its peak. If you can see here, it says peak energy. This is also the time for joy, celebration, the blossoming or harvesting season, right? And this is also a time to be thankful for your blessings, to be uh, grateful, to show gratitude to the universe for always guiding you, protecting you, taking care of you and your family, right? So extremely important to show gratitude to the universe. Uh, besides that, um, I pulled out some astrological cards that influence uh, us or guide us uh, during this time. So what came forward was Uranus talking about evolution. I evolve. Uranus is all about your inner rebellion, uh, all about your inner growth, your personal growth. So the energies of this full moon, this Sharat Purnima is compelling us to evolve from within. All right. Um, also, we have the power of Pluto. I empower. And it's talking about the power that you hold within you. So this is the time to get projects started. This um, may also be a wonderful time for you to start making the changes that you need to in your life to evolve uh, because that requires a certain amount of power, empowerment, and a push factor to you know achieve your goals uh, speaking of achievement we also had Lord of Karma himself Saturn appear in this reading as I achieve so we're again like I said being asked to achieve our goals by empowering ourselves and then evolving um, into uh, better people better individuals um, and, and also evolving our goals with, uh, you know, a period of time. Uh, you know, oftentimes we work on our own goals uh, and we forget about uh, giving back to the community uh, that we belong to. So this is also a message to make those goals to give back to um, maybe your country, your community, to the people just helping other individuals uh, so that in return you know uh, you start this cycle of um, joy and celebration uh, which is only going to empower other people and spread more happiness in the world so next we have 
at the 6th house, 10th house, and 12th house that have appeared in our reading. Uh, so the 6th house is all about your health and fitness, uh, you know, the care of your pets, uh, the systems, analytical nature, uh, your work habits, um, you know, self of usefulness, service, that you give to others uh, so it is all about what you do and how you care about not just yourself but other people so again we're being called to look into uh, those aspects of our lives uh, that require us to stay healthy stay fit uh, be a part of uh, something bigger than just us because we're talking about organization and sense of usefulness um, you know making ourselves useful to the world right and then we have the 10th house card talking about achievements again like the card of saturn uh, and we have saturn here again talking about achieving goals goals uh, that are long term your career um, achieving some sort of structure in your life, some status in your life. Um, also talking about masculinity. Uh, so some of you perhaps could have issues uh, owning your power because power, uh, how you put yourself out there is uh, all to do with masculinity. Uh, some of you could also be having uh, issues with the masculine the opposite sex may be a father-like figure and it's time to start focusing on that relationship or those relationships uh, based on uh, whatever uh, you know your particular uh, issue in life is so again we're being called to look into these aspects of ourselves also like i said in uh you know in previous videos uh that every individual has a masculine and feminine within them uh so now you're being called to look at that masculine aspect of your life where you know the the part that uh, is an achiever the part that is the protector the part that is uh, that that helps you assert yourself and put your power out there um, masculinity the solar plexus chakra is all about your individual power okay and we already have the card of the Pluto talking about empowerment. So that is definitely an important message coming out in this reading. Along with that, we have the 12th house, which is talking about surrendering, surrendering to the divine, uh, surrendering to your self, surrendering to your spirit, okay, talking about endings, uh, healing yourself, uh, having closure, uh, growth in spirituality, talking about taking time uh, for yourself, for your personal growth, solitude, right, um, learning your karmic lessons, um, also about, uh, you know, your limiting beliefs and, and trying to work on them, um, growing, again, talking about evolving i evolve right so limiting beliefs is all about evolution and what's bothering your subconscious fixing that healing that these are important elements that are coming forward this full moon and sharat purnima and it's a reminder to us from the divine to continue to focus on our personal growth our empowerment our strengths and also developing our strengths um, and moving towards a more healing more spirituality and learning our karmic lessons then we have lilith and juno so here we're uh, with lilith we're talking about repressed desires um, so oftentimes uh, people have these dreams these ambitions and um, they wish to achieve um, everything and 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 want to be successful but you know universe has a plan for everybody and sometimes certain things work and other times they don't right so these desires that sometimes remain unfulfilled become repressed desires so what we're being asked 
through this Lilith uh, energy is to let go of these repressed desires, to not stay stuck in the past, to move forward. Because um, for some of you, this has got to do, uh, you know, with finding that partner for yourself, that companion. Uh, some of you are not able to manifest a new partnership, a sacred union into your life because you're stuck in the past energy of maybe a past relationship that did not work successfully. Um, so you carry a lot of baggage from the past that is uh, making it unable for you to move forward and find uh, that sacred union that you're looking for under Juno. Um, for others of you, this could be unresolved issues with a masculine uh, figure in your life or perhaps your inability to express yourself. Maybe you like someone, but uh, you constantly keep doubting uh, if the person will like you back or if uh, you know, you're know you going to embarrass yourself if you ask somebody out. This is the time. Uh, use the energy, the power of the moon to start achieving your goals start setting out what you really want in your life write it down take a notepad you know write down all the things that you wish for yourself and start working on them one step at a time right so this is what um astrologically we're being asked to focus on now i'm going to get down to some tarot so, the overall energy we have here is that of the devil in reverse. Uh, this speaks about independence, detachment from unhealthy attachments, freedom from um, you know addictive patterns, uh, and overcoming addictive behaviors. Uh, it's also about reclaiming your own power and reasserting control back into your lives. Uh, the reversed position of this devil shows me that you're becoming more aware of the things that have been keeping you stuck, you know, or making you feel trapped or restricted. Uh, if anyone has been battling with uh, anxiety, depression, or any kind of mental illness or just addictive patterns of behavior, this card is a ray of hope for you because... Um, this tells me that you're finally going to start empowering yourself to make those necessary changes in your life because uh, now the power of the moon is giving you that extra push, that extra, uh, you know, motivation to move forward. Uh, but it's very, very important to remember, guys, uh, that you um, have to continue down this positive path and not fall back into negative patterns, right? Um, and then over here, we have the Justice card, which is number 11. Okay, interestingly, we're also going into the 11th month, uh, November. Uh, so this card is associated with karmic matters uh, and also legal matters, right? Um, so with this card, we know that all actions have consequences. So it's important to have a look at your current situation um, and ask yourself have you learned the lessons uh, the karmic lessons that you're meant to learn and have you been doing uh, the right things in your life to move forward from the stuck energy of the devil um, and you know adding that uh, positivity and empowerment into your life to move forward into the right direction so those are very valid questions to ask yourselves uh, during this time um, also for some of you now this is very specific those of you that have some kind of legal disputes or cases this is a favorable outcome since um, it's all to do with truth integrity and honesty okay um, with the hermit card right here uh this is in reverse so here you um uh, you know some of you have been putting yourself under a lot of isolation maybe solitude um or you've been feeling isolated for a very long time um you know it could be because of certain individuals could be because of yourself it could be because it's a forced situation but either way um the Hermit card in reverse tells me that it's time for you to get out there in the world. 
there's uh, too much of thinking you've been doing in your head and I think um, uh, this card again tells me that you've been spending a lot of your time thinking about things and sometimes too much thinking uh, you know can also have its own consequences you know bad consequences so you're being asked to you know stop doing that let go of what's stopping you from moving forward and to take that plunge um, you know with the justice and the devil in reverse you're being asked to take that plunge that push that nudge uh, <laughs> you know from the universe uh, is coming your way to move forward in your life and to let go of all that's stopping you and keeping you uh, stuck in your headspace or feeling emotionally stuck or feeling um, unable to move forward because uh, you don't feel strong enough. The power that you're seeking is going to come to you this full moon. So take that opportunity and move forward of swords in reverse uh, this card again is talking about overcoming pain overcoming depression grief sadness um, that maybe you were finding hard to let go of okay um, those of you that need help please reach out to someone you trust um, because it's time to take that step to heal all right um, this could have um, you know, this uh, heartache or a, a pain could have been caused due to someone cheating you, some sort of deceit, uh, or just, you know, unnecessary st stress in your life. But now the energies of the moon are bringing positivity and you will soon see the light at the end of the tunnel. That is what this card is telling me. Um, then we have the three of pentacles here and that is in reverse as well. So again, like over here, I said that, uh, you know, there are people, this uh, this card is all about, uh, you know, karmic uh, lessons and there are people that are going to be learning those karmic lessons. Uh, right now, this card tells me that some of you are kind of uh, forcing yourself not to grow, not to evolve. Uh, so this is definitely another confirmation that it's time to learn from your past mistakes you're being compelled to fix what's broken only then you can make your life better and um, you ought to learn to take that responsibility because uh, whatever is broken can only be fixed by you and no one else right and uh, like i said the justice card the devil in reverse and the three of swords in reverse are all uh, giving hints to the power, the extra nudge that is coming from the universe, the full moon, um, to do the right thing and to get rid of all that's blocking you from learning and living a happy and healthy and uh, a successful life. Okay, so. Uh, don't don't block your blessings don't uh, block those blessings just um take this spiritual energy this very beautiful strong empowering energy and use it to your advantage to evolve to achieve your goals and to empower yourselves to be better live better um and and also empower those around you you know because when you take that plunge when you take that step you give uh, you show other people the that it's not a difficult task end of the day everybody can uh, do this you know it is possible to make a change in your life and um, and that to a positive one right guys I just asked the universe uh, if there was any other advice or message for us uh, so these are the cards that came out uh, over here we have we the hathers talking about deep love mother's milk birth as a portal so the portal that is being spoken about is this full moon energy like i said it's a very powerful energy this is a you know divine time uh, for us to gather our strengths and focus on our inner growth and healing and evolution and empowerment uh, so that the entire universe can 
make use of this positivity uh, and this positive surge. Well, as a planet, we need to evolve and raise our vibrations. And that is exactly what we're being asked to do, to raise our vibration as a planet. Again, uh, over here, we have the concept of the mother's milk, which is talking about you know nurturing yourself, taking care of yourself, nursing yourself back to health. Um, over here, we have the star mother appearing, and it says underneath, how can you mother yourself? How can you mother yourself? The star mother. So again, this card is about nurturing yourself. Uh, this uh, card is asking us to take care of ourselves, to heal ourselves, and make um, positive efforts in our lives so that it just doesn't uh, resolve the issues in our lives but also raises the vibration of the planet as a whole right and over here we have uh imrama okay imrama is talking about where are you being called to journey to uh so this is again a a journey card it is about you taking that spiritual journey uh to you know bettering yourselves evolution to empowerment right spirituality we already saw those cards um when i uh picked out those um you know those astrological based cards we've already seen uh, the i empower i achieve i evolve right so again it's speaking about exactly the same things and here we have the message the great gathering it's all coming together intuitive hits soul tribe so many of you uh perhaps in the world different parts of the world could be connecting on different things um you know there's a lot of different events going on um a lot of them are very heartbreaking um and Honestly, uh, it's waking people up from this deep sleep. And right here, what is coming out is that through the process of raising the vibration of ourselves and that of the planet, we're connecting with people that we didn't ever think we could connect with. And um, that becoming our soul tribe, right? You could um, meet certain people from a completely different country uh, that you've never stepped foot in and you'd make a lifelong friend because you think alike and you bond over the same uh, you know, topics that distress you or cause you uh, uneasiness or it could just be topics related to spirituality and growth. So a lot of that is coming forward in this reading, a lot about the evolution, about growth, about empowerment, about connecting with yourselves and connecting with other people. So here um, I asked the question, um, about justice for Sushant Singh Rajput movement. Uh, right from the beginning, when I see these two cards, the rebel and we are the world in reverse, um, I immediately understand uh, there's a lot happening uh, that is causing a lot of distress, okay? Um, the rebel is the emperor card in tarot. So uh, the emperor is the leader. Uh, he is the person that leads the movement. Of course, in Justice for Sushant Singh movement, we have seen several people come forward and act as leaders. But unfortunately, at this point, there is a lot of friction and a lot of uh, ego conflict because uh, the emperor is also the card of the ego. So there is a lot of ego, um, you know, back and forth, uh, you know, people not agreeing um, on uh, certain aspects and uh, attacking each other. Uh, so that is immediately coming out with this. And here, right away, when we get to We Are The World, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, um, here we're being told that 
uh, the inheritance of this movement is now turning negative and toxic because if you notice the cards right underneath we have the cards of exhaustion stress sorrow and the burden so the movement at this point has been uh, uh, you know causing a lot of distress in people's lives because um, there's a lot of uh, uh, different groups that people are following there's a lot of bickering a lot of back and forth of uh difference of opinions uh, people are uh not being very um what should i say kind to each other um it, even when it comes down to you know them just wanting to agree to disagree that's not really happening uh, because over here we have uh, like i said the exhaustion and the stress card which are both the wands energy so the energy is very very powerful this is fire energy right here and right here we have the air energy um the nine of uh, swords and the six of swords so uh what i'm feeling over here is that the air of this toxicity is spreading like wildfire you know how oxygen is needed for fire to keep burning uh that is exactly what the situation has become now it's become toxic uh people don't know who to look up to who to trust and because of that there's just ultimate chaos right but but i also got solutions right and the solutions came right here so right now uh with this full moon energy we are getting um this opportunity to use these powerful blessings these powerful energies and use it to turn the clock around this is the wheel of fortune card okay this is about changing the fate it's about good fortune coming in this is about positivity coming in and leading towards abundance the king of pentacles uh this is somebody who's um very very solid uh you know very strong leader uh, but here i'm being told that each one of the uh the people fighting in the movement are leaders everybody is a leader everybody is leading themselves to keep fighting every single day so start behaving like that start behaving like the leaders that you're meant to be because that is what's going to take the movement forward that's what's going to get us the victory that we want depending on just certain number of people and expecting them to constantly give us advice on every little thing is not going to help us achieve those results especially when they're fighting and bickering amongst each other so now there is this change this positive shift that is coming towards us and is asking us to take this chance and empower ourselves to all be leaders in the movement and all have a say and work towards one goal which is the justice uh, movement right um, to make sure that sushan disha jia all these people and many more get the justice that they so deserve um and this is not just about you know justice for sushan if we look at what's happening all over the world and but this uh full moon this sharat purnima is bringing a lot of positivity guys so uh i can't you know stop laying emphasis on that fact that it's so important for us to use these blessings um and use them well because um this chance that we're getting it doesn't come uh you know again and again uh this is the time to raise your vibration this is the time to start achieving uh and and working towards your goals so you can achieve results right this is the time to start taking that plunge to start um moving forward and letting go of anything and everything that's toxic that's negative we don't need this exhaustion this stress this sorrow this burden we don't need people bickering with each other it's okay not everybody's going to agree uh with every single thing but the point is we're all fighting for the same cause and just keep marching ahead because that's what's going to bring us the success that we need um to receive 
the results that we truly want, right? Which is justice. So we need to work together if we want to achieve uh, those bigger results um, in, in, in this world, right? We all need each other. I mean, what do I say? The point of the matter is this, that everybody who gets, you know, to some powerful position in their life, they're once a part of the public, right? So these people come from uh, within our communities. So it's important for us to start um, bettering our communities, start bettering our education, start being educated on different subjects. We cannot uh, afford to say anymore, or we do not understand politics, or we do not understand economics. We cannot say that anymore. We need to um, have the knowledge, and um, that knowledge is what's going to empower us to make those right decisions. And also take on more leadership based roles because if every individual starts being a leader and starts correcting themselves okay um we won't need other people to do that for us right and we would have a much better society um now of course this is me being optimistic um some people might think but i do not think that this is not an achievable goal um those that really really want to evolve and awaken themselves always make that effort um, to do the right thing so instead of whining about uh, why certain people are not doing their job or why um, you know certain things are not happening or the fact that nothing will change maybe it's time to realign ourselves and start focusing on how we can better something and how we can become part of a system which is not so um, judgmental of others and a society that kind of bullies other people and suppresses other people it's just more based on equality and equity um, uh, you know which gives people equal uh, equal opportunity and 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 equal rights and 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 justice as well uh, justice cannot just belong to people who are privileged it has to be um, there for everybody I am sincerely hoping that you're going to make the most of um, whatever messages and advice have come forward. God bless you guys. All right, take care. Bye-bye.